What's up everybody, I'm a Teleworker and today we're reviewing Black Adam. This is going to be a spoiler free review, so uh, if you haven't seen the movie, don't worry, I will not give any spoiler details here. So basically I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on everything in the movie without spoiling it and then um, just give it an overall score. So, the first thing we'll talk about I guess is our main star, uh, Dwayne Johnson. I think he did okay. Um, he was enjoyable in the role. I do find it hard sometimes to see past the fact that he's Dwayne Johnson. Like, it's really, really hard to get past that. Um, there are some moments where he, he really is trying his best. Um, and, and those moments really do shine. There's some flashback sequences and things like that where there's tears in his eyes and he's... You know, he's really going for it. Dwayne Johnson really cared about this movie, and you can tell. Um, it's not full of uh, eyebrow raises and laughs and all that stuff. So, he he definitely took it seriously. It's just, I personally, I think they could have found a better actor for it. But I'm glad that they found somebody who cares this much about the character and the universe and things like that. So, overall, I think he did fine. Um, the Justice Society, to me, was the highlight of this entire movie. Hawkman was great. Um, Dr. Fate was my favorite character of the whole movie, which, uh, is Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan is one of those actors that, like, it doesn't matter what role you put him in, you're gonna like him. Like, I, I've never seen a movie where I'm like, Pierce Brosnan sucks. <laughs> like, even if the movie sucks, Pierce Brosnan never sucks. Um, and that, that is a real strong point of this movie, his performance as Dr. Fate. Some great dialogue, some, some great special effects, his costume was fantastic. Um, same with Hawkman as well. The other two members, um, Adam Smasher and Cyclone, are there, I guess? Uh, it's not the actor's fault at all, it's definitely the script, but they really just, they don't have much to do. So I wasn't really impressed with their characters. Um, the special effects for Cyclone were cool as shit. I really liked that. The way they represented her powers and stuff was really cool looking. Um, the kid that plays Adam Smasher was funny. Like, he was enjoyable, but like I said, they just really didn't give them enough to do in this movie. Um, which is not the actor's fault, again. Uh, I just want to say... They did fine, they showed up, they did their jobs. I have no problem with their performances. It's mostly just their characters are kind of just background for the movie. There's a kid in this movie who's kind of like uh, Kondok's version of Freddy from Shazam. <laughs> He's like this superhero nerd kid who loves the Justice League. He loves superheroes. He's obsessed with them. And so he kind of looks up to Black Adam in this movie because he thinks that he's like... The hero they need for their city um and for the most part i liked the kid but there were some parts where i was like okay it's getting a little over the top a little cringy but he did fine i thought the kid was was okay i didn't have any major problems with him um i cannot remember the other two characters names it was the uh the guy and the girl their brother and sister but uh, their characters were pretty good. Um, the girl plays off of pretty much everyone in the movie really well. And the guy is really funny. I liked his character a lot. Um, he's always like singing in the van and shit like that. And I thought that was funny. Um, the action, I think, is the, the best part of this movie. If you do have a chance to go see it in the theaters and you do want to, I would strongly encourage you to because the action... You know, when when you watch an action movie at home, it never hits quite as hard as when you watch it in a real movie theater. Um, so if you can and you really want to see this movie, go see it. Go spend your money. It's I think it's worth it. It's a really fun movie. It's really chaotic. There's tons of fights. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of death in this movie. Like, they did not... It's not quite as graphic as I would have liked it to be for Black Adam. But I also understand that these are family films. They can only go so far. Um, but man, I would have loved to see what an R-rated cut of this movie would have looked like. Because there were some... Uh, there were a couple pretty brutal moments that... I don't think they were quite 
hard enough to say that they should have been R, but they were pretty graphic for PG-13. Uh, so if your kids are really sensitive, um, maybe you don't take them. Depends how sensitive they are. Um, if they could sit through pretty much all the other DC movies that have come out so far, then they'll be fine. Yeah, uh, like I said, the, the action, the spectacle of this movie is the greatest part. They set up the Justice Society. They set up uh, more stuff with just the universe in general. Uh, there's a really big after credit scene that I'm sure most people have already had spoiled, but I won't spoil it here just in case. Um, but that was pretty exciting. Sets up something to come that could be really, really cool. So yeah, the, the overall implications it has for the universe have me very excited. Um, they introduced a lot of magical stuff in this movie. Like, um, without any spoilers, there's there's mentions of like demons and we get some flashbacks for the wizard from Shazam and things like that. So the expansion of the magic side of DC for this movie is what has me the most excited and also the introduction of the Justice Society the ball's in your court, DC. I want a Justice Society movie now. Because they were the best part of this movie. And uh, if we could get a full Justice Society movie with all those characters, um, I would be hyped. And to go even further, because they introduced the Justice Society, and there is a lot of drama with Ezra Miller right now, I would say, if you need time to recast Barry, introduce Jay. Jay Garrick's part of the Justice Society. You could have him be the Flash for a couple movies. Maybe say that he's from another Earth, and then when he meets Barry, we can get into his backstory and stuff. But uh, for now, if they need to take a break from Barry, I say, I say that's the way to go. You have the Justice Society. Why not use it? There is no mention of Jay Garrick in this movie. That's just wishful thinking for me. So, uh, yeah, overall, I'd give this movie probably a 7.5 out of 10. It was pretty enjoyable. The story's a little weak in some places. The dialogue's a little weak in some places. Some of the characters are a little cringy. Some of the characters are pretty much useless. But it's extremely fun. There's a lot of new stuff. I actually kind of enjoyed the villain at the end. Some people are a little upset with how, sh like, thrown together the third act is, which I totally understand the complaints. But I thought the villain was badass when he does finally show up. I don't think he had enough screen time to really build up and be terrifying. But the moments that we have with him, his design is fantastic. His powers are crazy. Um, he puts up a hell of a fight. He's really intimidating. So that's my spoiler-free review of Black Adam. If you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys later. But when we out on